Hey everyone, it's Alexa with the Colby Farms and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. We are going to show you guys how to process a whole chicken. This was actually a request by a lot of people from a couple of our other videos. So we're going to show you how to do that today. But instead of me showing you, my husband is going to show you how to do it. It's a pretty simple process and we're going to take you step by step. We're going to go really slow so you can see where to exactly cut the chicken, how to cut it properly, what to use. And by the end of this, you're going to get out a whole chicken and you're going to know exactly what to do. We're going to go over a couple things that are really important when it comes to processing any animal, whether you're processing it for um, butchering it or you're, you know, the animal is already passed and it's in your freezer or you got it from the store and you got to cut it up. So we're going to go over some very important things first, okay? First and foremost is, to me, is the most important is knife safety, okay? We're going to be using very sharp knives today. And if you are not careful, if you're trying to be cool, and I say I'm not, I say that lightheartedly, but really people just think it, it's cool, you know? It's cool butchering. <laughs> and once you get good with it, once you learn your life, you can do so much with it, you know? We want to focus on being really safe here. Because just one little accident and you can lose a figure, you can lose your hand, you could really cut yourself open and make yourself bleed. So we want to be very careful. Okay, right here we have a fillet knife and we have a cleaver. We are going to be sharpening these knives. And why we're going to sharpen them is because they need to be sharp when you're cutting it, when you're cutting into an animal. We say that it is injustice to the animal if we do not have sharp knives here. Because when you make that cut, you want it to be a nice clean cut. You want to make sure you're not butchering, literally, any of the meat that could be used. And when you're cutting into the animal and you don't have a nice knife, there's going to be those jagged edges, there's going to be meat left over, it's not going to be a clean, nice cut. You're not getting the most amount of meat out of the animal that you cook. And so it's very important to have sharp knives. If you do not have a knife sharpener, I definitely recommend going and getting one. I know that on knife blocks there is a sharpener that you can use. So if you don't have an automatic sharpener like we do, I would do that as well. There's also different ways to sharpen knives, but we use an automatic sharpener. You can look it up, anything up on YouTube, I'm sure, to look up different ways to sharpen knives if you don't have what we have. But at the end of the day, moral of the story is, we need to have our knives sharpened, okay? Second off, we wanna wash off our chicken. The chicken that we have is one that we have raised here on our farm. And even though that we've raised it, it's been in the freezer for a few months now. And we are, we've just washed it off with water, got in between all of the thighs and the wings and the crevices just to make sure we got anything that could be on there, okay? Um, it's been sitting in its own little juice for a little while, so we want to make sure we wash that all off and it makes less of a mess. Along with washing your chicken, you also want to make sure that you are washing your hands and taking sanitary precautions with that as well because you're about to be feeding this animal to your family, okay? And third is you need to have a nice base underneath your chicken. We don't set it on the countertop and we just chop it up. You need to have a nice thick cutting board. I always recommend wood. I don't like the plastic ones, the tow boards. I don't prefer those, but if that's all you have, that's fine. Just make sure it's sturdy on your countertop because you're going to be cutting through some bones and whatnot. And if it's not sturdy, if it slips, that's when accidents happen. That's when you destroy your countertop, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. We have a butcher block. Um, we got it off of Facebook Marketplace, so if you're looking for one of those, I recommend that. So I have no link to the butcher block. <laughs> it's about 40 years old, which is awesome. But that is what we have. It weighs about 200 pounds, and that's sturdy enough for us. So make sure you have those things before you go and process your animal. But I'm about to get into it, so I hope you're excited to learn along with us. It's a pretty simple process, like I said. Make sure you're taking the safe steps and the sanitary steps for this as well, okay? 
All right, let's get into it. <laughs> you got chicken wings. You got the chicken breast right here. And you have the chicken leg and the chicken's thigh. And on the inside of the breast, you have the chicken's tenderloins. So, first, what you're going to do is you're going to take your fillet knife or your boning knife, and then I usually use that to cut this skin slightly off-centered off the side. I suppose you can do it however works for you. I just make a cut going right across the the breast of the turkey or chicken. <laughs> Pulling the skin away from the bird itself. And then there's like a membrane that holds it to the actual breastplate. I'll try to cut through that. You just gotta be careful not to cut any of the the meat itself. Just keep pulling the skin on the breast back. I almost got myself there. I make a cut on both sides of the sternum or the breastplate of the chicken. The wishbone is in the collar. And this is the breast, that's the tenderloin. This is the breast and this is the tenderloin right here. I'm gonna keep trying to cut that away from breastplate and the rib bones and sometimes I find it easier to make a cut on the side where you can see the breast right here. Follow the line? Yeah. breast here and the tenderloin right here. Do the same thing on the other side, cut right along the that piece that sticks up off the, the breastplate. That's all cartilage and bone. Don't want to get that in the meat because that'll make it give it a texture you don't want to be chewing on.
have seen that like when you pull the chicken away, you'll see the, the muscle. Yeah. And how it looks different than the rest of the chicken. I just kind of make that cut. That okay. I'm not cutting blind inside the, the chest cavity. And at this point, start separating them. It's all cartilage and bone. Just gotta be very careful through this spot. Line. Then you'll see a seam right here again, and then usually I take the knife and just kind of lightly hold it and pull back, and it starts pulling away from the breast. And then you have your tenderloin and another chicken breast. All the red stuff's going to be blood left over from the chicken, and it's perfectly fine. It's been sitting in the freezer? But yeah. extra skin. Do you use that for anything? Uh, I've always just thrown it away. Or give it to? The dogs. The doggos. So we're just cutting the skin away? Yeah, just to make it easier to give you better working conditions. Keeping it safe, I guess. This is like stuff. Uh, this is especially important for knife safety because when you're cutting that skin away, it's pretty slippery. And if your knife is not sharp, it could slip right into your finger. Alright, the next step I do is taking the wing off. And you can, when you move the wing around, you can see right here is the muscle you want to cut right behind. And then all the way down here, and then the wing should come right off. separated or dislocated. Just finish the cut going right through. And there's one way. Pretty much what I was trying to do there is separate the socket that the, like I guess the wing bone would sit in, where the breast would hook up to and power the wing when the chicken would try to fly. Alright, so again, move the wing around, see where that muscle is right there. Hold the knife right at the base of that. That cut to that socket, kind of hyperextend it, the bone pops out. And then just take your knife and cut all the way through. And you'll have your second chicken wing. Prime and tallow. <laughs> Alright, and the next step that I do is pulling all the ligaments and skin back away from there. And then there's this soft tissue that follows right along the uh, the base of the leg here and all I try to do here just kind of make a couple cuts there and then follow right above the hip bone and I cut all that soft tissue back so it's like that and I'll do the same on this side gonna make a couple cuts like that go right above that hip bone cut all the way back like that to where the, the hips are back or they're all exposed and then I pull back like that and break the back right in front of the the hips there. So what do you got a handle on right now? This is the chest cavity of the chicken. And we use that for? Bone broth. Bone broth, yep. And then I just make a cut right along the back side here and then cut the skin and then there's the the two hind quarters right here, and usually this thing here, the tail, you can cut that guy right out. 
that's pretty good for bone broth. And the, the drum in the thigh, there's a few different ways you can do that. You can pull the skin off and do a boneless, skinless thigh, and you can cut this, which would be the femur of the chicken, right here, out. And kind of pull the meat around. And you have your drum that starts right here from this seam in the muscles. And you can see it on this side too, where the... And you can see it on this side coming around through here, all the muscles going up into the drum, and there's the joint right there. And to get the drum out, you'd hyperextend it and make the cut right there. But the way we've always done it here is we've left the drum and the thigh and all the skin on, and we just do two hind quarters. And this is where we use the meat cleaver. And it's just trying to hit right in the center of the hip or the pelvis of the chicken. And you're just trying to split the two halves apart. through and then just take the knife and finish the cut right there. You got one hind quarter right there and two hind quarters. And the hind quarter consists of the drum and the thigh. Yep. Okay. okay everyone and that is how we process a whole chicken in our kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned some things and that you're able to take your whole chicken and cut it up in your kitchen just like we do in ours. Any questions or concerns that you have, make sure to comment below. But if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment what you thought about everything, and please do not forget to subscribe if you like content like this. And we'll be sure to be teaching you more and what we do here in our kitchen so you can learn in yours. Thank you so much for stopping by the farm and we'll see you next time. Bye!